In this example, we are interested in finding the voltage across uh, the second capacitor, where we have um, three elements in series, which we need to find their impedance, equivalent impedance, which is just going to be R1 plus 1 over C1S plus R2. And then for the second one, we have Z2 is equal to 1 over C2S. Using the voltage divider, we get VO is equal to Z2 over Z1 plus Z2 times E is equal to 1 over C2S divided by R1 plus R2 plus 1 over C1S plus 1 over C2S, all multiplied by E. I'm going to rewrite this as uh, R1 plus R2 plus 1 over C1S plus 1 over C2S quantity multiplied by VO. This is equal to 1 over C2S times E. Uh, just as a simplification, notice that 1 over C1S plus 1 over C2S, we can multiply um, C2 over C2 and C1 over C1, and that gives us C1 plus C2 over C1 C2S. So this whole quantity is just C1 plus C2 divided by C1 C2S. Let's multiply, um, let's actually multiply both sides of our equation by uh, the inverse of that quantity, and uh, we can later verify that if I multiply by the reciprocal, I'm going to get R1 plus R2 times C1 C2S over C1 plus C2. Plus, if I have this quantity multiplied by its reciprocal, it's just going to be 1. That gets multiplied by VO. And then I have C1 C2S over C1 plus C2 times 1 over C2S multiplied by E. Uh, you'll see the reason why I did this in a moment, but we, we're now in a position to write this as a differential equation. We have R1 plus R2 times C1 C2 divided by C1 plus C2 plus 1. Oh, actually, since we're writing as a differential equation, let me back up a little bit, and I'll write VO dot plus VO is equal to C1 over C1 plus C2 times E. So this gives us the differential equation for this system. And uh, we weren't asked to do this, but just for fun, we can give an idea of what the step response for this system is. If we applied a unit step to E, we immediately see that we know what the uh, steady state output is going to be. That's going to be equal to C1 over C1 plus C2. We also know that this is going to be an exponential, and we know that that exponential has a time constant, tau, which is just going to be equal to uh, R1 plus R2 quantity times C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. So even though we don't know any of the parameter values for the system, we actually know something qualitatively about how it's going to behave.